Turn with me to Psalms 119, I'm sorry, 116, verse 11. Psalms 116, verses 11. When you find it, say amen. Amen. Control my thoughts. Yes. 
Hey, you, you got people in church that say, I can't wait to get out of church to get past that was straight. Amen. Well, guess what? You can't straighten me. I belong to God. All right, man. And God be the one to straighten me out. Yes. Amen? Amen? What works for pastor and leadership might not work for you. All right. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. That's, the, that's the hell I love my wife. I tell her she can't deal with the members like I deal with them. Amen. Why? Because I'm their pastor. God doesn't hold these ministers according. They hold me accountable. Right. Amen. What you're taught and how I lead you. Amen. Now, I ain't saying that you might follow me or not, but God gonna bless me Amen. for telling you the way you ought to go right. when you don't even want to hear. Mm -hmm. Most of the things you and I say, which we later regret, don't we? Yes. Which get in trouble. I, I, I remember y'all remember the story of the. Little boy heard his mama talking about the pastor. Yeah. Little boy came to church right here in St. John. And he said to me what his mama said. And his mama slapped him upside the head and said, Boy, don't you talk to the pastor like that? He said, Well, mama, you said it. Y'all ain't getting this. Amen. You have to be careful what you say. Amen. Because those words have lasting on somebody's mind. Yeah. The kids mark me sometimes at different places. And if they got the mark, you let it be for the right way. Amen. Amen? Amen. Most of the things you and say, you'll regret later. Amen? Amen? We utter things in jumble, hurry, which we would never dream of saying in a calmer mood, would we? Mm -hmm. In our disciples' moments. The Lord's word is hasty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is a hasty word. Yeah. The unkind, cutting word is a hasty word. Amen? Amen? The gloomy deportment word is the hasty word. And that's what we got to do. I heard somebody say that this day, my mama, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my wife, my husband, but that ought to be God that's leading you. Amen. Hey, hello, somebody. Amen. It's good for family support. Don't get me wrong. But first of all, you got to be tied up, wrapped up in Jesus. Amen. Am I right about it? The trouble with good, a good many of us is that we talk too much. Amen. <laughs> Lord us. We speak in hate in haste. Yes, yes. We cause pains to our spouse, Amen. to our children, Amen. and Christian brothers and sisters by speaking in haste. Amen. So the Bible gives this counsel. And in, in Ecclesiastes 5 2, it says, Be not rash with thy mouth. And let not thy hand, that let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything. Amen. Amen. James 1.19 goes on to say, Let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak. Yeah. I just want to take a few minutes to look at two things the psalmist said in haste. Neither of these statements were true, and if he, he had thought through them, he would never have said them again. Amen. Sometimes we speak before we think. Yes, right. Is that right? Amen. All men are liars. Yes. He said in a tone and disgust and disappointment. Now, when people say, well, I'm not a liar. Mm -hmm. All of us have told a lie sometime ago. Amen. 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 If you say you haven't, then you're lying right now. Right. Am I right about it? Amen. And then sometimes you're lying and you really didn't want to lie. Amen. Instead of telling people the truth up, straight up. Instead of lying, you can just tell them, I ain't going to be there. <laughs> Y'all know I'm right about this. Then you lie to the next person that you speak to. He made me mad. You made yourself mad. How are you going to put it on him or her? Amen? Folk don't have what you have. You look down on them and think you ain't no better than they are. Just like what you got on, God can take it and give it to them. Amen. 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 And when we put ourselves up above other people, right, we're missing the mark. Yes. And if so, and if we do feel like we're higher than somebody else, we ought to reach down as God reached down to us Amen. and help somebody else. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. Love is what it does. That's right. Love goes in love and love goes out. People say, oh, I just love you. That was a lie right there, but they know they don't love you. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. People, 
you're going to say what makes you feel good. Amen. If they, you want to hear them say it, let me just say, get him off my mind. Yeah, yeah, I love you. Yeah. Y'all didn't hear me say love. Love y'all. L O V E said love. Right, amen. Not love, L U V, love. <laughs> you ought to mean it in your heart, amen. in your mind, in your spirit. Amen. When you say, the Bible said, love your enemies. Yes. Come on, love them. Amen. Even though they treat you wrong, they set traps for you. But the Bible says you still got to love them. Oh, I didn't say it was going to be easy now. But there comes some time I said, wait a minute, Lord, you need to check me on this thing. This joker doesn't sit traps on me, call me everything but a child of God. And God said, so what? They call the Son of God everything. <laughs> so what do you think they're going to do about me and you? Amen? But to say all men were lying, it was not accurate statement. It wasn't an accurate statement. Amen? And so it is said today. So many are liars, and nowadays that one is tempted to say, you can't trust anybody anymore. Yeah. But we cannot group all together. Yeah. We just make a generalization, don't we? Yeah. We must be careful not to generalize. Yeah. You see, God talked, he, 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 he taught Elijah not to generalize. Uh -huh. Y'all remember Elijah was in a, <laughs> uh, uh, um, let me get that right. Elijah, God Elijah was in a mood of dark despair. And he generalized that all but himself had gone off into a pagan and idolatry. He cried out unto God, I even, I only am left. But it is, it was not so. You see, God rebuked him. And he reminded him that there was at least 7,000 in Israel who had been bowed the knee to Baal. Amen? Amen. Or they kissed his feet. Yeah. It is not a good thing just to speak. Amen. Think about it before you say it. Amen. Today as Christian workers, we find ourselves sometimes in this mood. Mm -hmm. We get tired of pushing against the mountain of evil mm -hmm. about us and we cry in haste. Everybody drinks and everybody's, everybody drinks Everybody's dishonest. Everybody's doing this or everybody's doing that. But we lose sight of God. We lose sight of God's faithful view. Amen? Those who God called the salt of the earth, who are standing firm and standing true. Let us think before we speak. The second thing is the son said in haste was, I am cut off from before thine eyes. In other words, God has forsaken me. Amen. I cannot count on his strength, his guidance, and his care. I got to fight my battle alone and in my own strength. Mm -hmm. You see, what happened to that man? That man had lost faith in self, and he lost faith in God. Yeah. <laughs> have, you been, have you ever been on that street? I have. Yeah. Amen? Have you ever gotten that low? Things were just not working out for this man. He was in a low mood, wasn't he? And he could not locate the face of God. Yes, yes. It seems that he was left all alone. Mm. But in time, he discovered, as we all do, that God will forsake his children. Yes, we not. cannot believe that, that God will not forsake yes, his children. God, he won't. We, we, we cannot drift beyond his love and his care. Hey. We are never cut off from God. Yes. He stands by his covenant. Oh, yes. As I get ready to close, he tells us, yes, I have loved you. Yes. And I've loved you with everlasting love. Oh, yes. Is that right, church? Oh, yes. He says, I am Jesus. Yes. Yes, I have loved you. Mm. And I'm the same Christ, the same yesterday, yes. today, and for, forever. Forever. Behold, I have given thee upon the palm of the hand. Church, let us not speak in haste. Yes, yes. As I get ready to take my seat, we must stop trusting our moves and being trusting in knowledge. Yes, yes. Is that right, church? Oh, yes. We must stop trusting our feelings yes. and begin trusting the revelation of God in Christ. Yes. You see, our feelings are not the compass for God's stress us. Right. But under no circumstances yes. 
but God doesn't deserve us. Instead of just speaking in haste, we can say it like Paul said. We can say I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor death, nor any other creatures shall be able to separate us from God, from the love of God, which is Jesus Christ our Lord. For I know that my God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that he could have eternal life. Ain't he glad about it? I'm so glad he took a rich like me, took my foot out of the mighty clay, put him on solid ground. I'm so glad. Oh. 